A very special package arrived today containing the queen of an ant species I've been wanting to keep for a while now. But before I reveal what she is, let me tell you why they're so fascinating. Ants in this genus are uniquely adapted to thrive in harsh, arid environments with extreme heat, low rainfall, and inconsistent food availability. So how do these little ants do it? How do you keep food and water readily available during times of drought or famine? Maybe they have little water jugs inside their nest? Well, actually yes. The queen I ordered is part of the genus Myrmecocystis, also known as honeypot ants. Why are they called honeypot ants? Whoa, well it sounds a lot nicer than a lot of other names you could have given them. I mean, look at that dump truck. Big Booty Judy over here got a dunk. <laughs> Good lord. These little water balloons are called repletes. And if you happen to be a replete, your job in the colony is to be a living storage container for food and water. What a calling. But an amazing adaptation. They've got junk in the trunk for the colony's survival. What's your excuse? Alright, let's take a look at the queen. I'm anticipating that she may have eaten her eggs during shipping, so I may have to leave her alone for a few weeks to let her brood develop. But I guess not. She already has workers, and a whole lot of brood. This is great news. I counted three workers, three cocoons, three larvae, and six eggs. This one's even giving the queen a bath, which is cool to see. A couple things strike me right away about this colony. The first is the pale color of the workers. It's like a ghostly yellow, which is very unique, and I've never seen ants this light before. The second is just how large their eyes are in proportion to their head. It makes them look cute for ants. I wasn't sure when they last ate, so I prepared a housewarming meal and waited patiently to see how they would respond. Then without warning, pa! A worker jumped out, then scurried back in. <laughs> okay. Then she came out with another worker, and back in. This continued over the next several minutes. The workers would pop out, then go back in, pop out, and back in. They were so funny and quirky to watch, I feel like I'm already starting to love this colony. Eventually they stopped coming out, but I never saw them touch their food. Checking in the next day, it looks like they just dumped a bunch of junk and crud into their food dish. Not sure what message they're trying to send there. And it looks like the colony's busy with... No... What? How did this happen? I didn't even get a chance to name her. This was so sad. I was really excited about this colony too. A few hours later, I found that they had carried her body out of the nest and left it in the outworld. It seems so unceremonious to leave your beloved queen next to the trash pile, but it is worth noting that they didn't actually put her in the dish with the other garbage. Maybe this was the most honorable place they could find to lay their fallen monarch. I contacted stateside ants where I bought the queen, and they were so nice and said that they would send me a replacement. Her species, however, Myrmecocystis mexicanus, was out of stock, so I went with Myrmecocystis semirufus, also known as the half-red honeypot ant. These honeypots are cool because they're bicolored, with dark bodies and red heads. Over the next couple weeks, I saw the workers continue to raise and care for their baby sisters. But once they all mature, that's it. Without their queen, they will die off in just a matter of... Wait, workers have a lifespan of one to three years? Oof, that's a long time to care for just 15 ants. Well, I guess they need a name then. Seeing as they have no ruler, I think I'll call them the Antarchists. A small band of rebels that don't believe in government. Alright, let's try this again. A very special package arrived today containing the queen ant species, blah 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 blah. Big thank you to stateside ants for sending me this replacement. And here they are. They look so cool and have a huge pile of larvae. Okay, now I need to connect an outworld. So, I'll just pull out the cotton and, whoops, one got out. I was having a hard time getting the test tube to fit, which is why my less than stellar camera work barely captured our escapee returning to the nest. Good. I kept trying, but ended up putting a crack in the test tube. Shoot. Now I had ants in the nest, ants in the outworld, and a cracked glass test tube that won't fit. So eventually, I'll want to move them into a clean test tube, but the colony has already been under a lot of stress from being shipped. So for now, we're going to take the outworld from the other honeypot ants and swap it with this one.
Then another time when things have calmed down, we'll- Oh! Ah! Uh, oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, brush. Brush. Ugh, I can't- Oh, one of them went in. Oh, okay. He's back out. I'm trying not to crush them, but they just keep butting up right near the entrance. <laughs> oh, this is a mess. Okay, Outworld secure. Step two, scoop them up with brush. Come here. Come on, little one. Nope, nope, not that way. Come on, please get on the brush. Okay. That's one. We got one. Now you. There we go. Oh, there's the third one. Ah. Sneaky little devil. And there you go. Hey, let's go. All right. But now how do I get these girls in here? I waited, but they weren't coming out. They were only interested in the honey. Maybe if all three were on the same dish, I could just... Oh, there we go. Ooh. Boom. Okay, now everyone's accounted for, no one was crushed, and these two, even now, did not stop eating throughout the entire ordeal. Another time we'll do more observations, but I think the colony has had enough excitement for one day. So for now, we'll let them settle in. I do, however, want to give this colony a name before we go. I'm going to name them the Gumdrops. I wanted to go with something fun and playful, since honey pots are so bubbly. I'm looking forward to getting to know them and watching the story of the gumdrops unfold. Thanks for watching.